Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video with this one, my friends. I'm gonna be testing Red Dead Redemption 2 in the minimum and recommended system requirements. This is gonna be a great one. So I got the system requirements here in the screen and you can see that the minimum specs ask for an i5 2500K, which I bought specifically for this video actually, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a GeForce GTX 770 GPU with 2 gigabytes of VRAM. And I know for a fact that the AMD counterpart, the R9 280, actually performs a little bit better than the 770, by the way. And on the recommended side of things, I got the i7 4770K, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte, which is sitting right there at the moment. And it's desktop time, and over in Task Manager, you can see the i5 2500K, which is not overclocked, by the way, neither will be the i7. I'm running stock speeds in these CPUs. Over on the memory, Tab, you can see the 8 gigabytes of dual channel RAM, 1333 megahertz. It's DDR3, obviously. It's not a known, I know it. And over on the right, we got the GTX 770 there, Intec Power Ups GPU Z from 2013, and it's the 2 gigabyte GDDR5 model of the card, as the minimum requirements ask for. So let's get into the game now, shall we? And we're starting this off at 1080p resolution using the lowest settings possible, aside from TAA, which is on high, but that's not an intensive setting you lose like half a frame per second if you set it to high instead of low and as you can see there we're actually going over the VRAM limits at these settings I can't really apply anything even if I wanted to turn off TAA because this game doesn't let me it, it thinks that I am stupid or so. maybe I am actually but yes <laughs> that's not the point oh my this is looking pretty bad actually look at those textures like what the hell is that that looks terrible <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's minimum settings, it's supposed to look terrible after all, right? And we are getting 30 plus at 1080p resolution. The game didn't even allow me to select 1080p res... I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, it didn't allow me to select 1080p res, and I had to go into the config files and set it there. We got Roach right here, finally, and I hear Bob. Bob is uh, playing the trumpet again, guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I am getting 20 FPS. It, it massively dropped. Holy, that is insane. That's so bad. I guess that's because of the VRAM, probably, guys, because it is maxed out. Yeah, that's that's probably what's happening here, but I wasn't expecting a sudden drop like that. You know, everything was fine, and all of a sudden, everything was not fine anymore. Also, the power consumption of the GPU is pretty low for a 770, and I've been seeing that that happens whenever you run out of VRAM because, well, we are VRAM bottlenecked inside of this GPU, so it doesn't really utilize all of its resources properly, so it can't use up to the 230 watts that it's supposed to use. And it just crashed, guys. I think what happened was we ran out of VRAM, so we started getting those very low FPS, you know, and then we ran out of RAM and it crashed because whenever you run out of VRAM it starts utilizing system RAM and well whenever you run out of system RAM sometimes games crash and other times they just run at like 2 FPS <laughs> something like that now at 720p it should be a heck of a lot better I hope uh, we're still using the same lowest settings with high TAA and let's go we're not going over the VRAM limits finally <laughs> all right we're back here we got around like what 10 more FPS than at 1080p res and hopeful oh my gosh the, the VRAM is actually close to maxed out still now the power usage is still around 130 watts there for a 770 uh, um, but that's because now we are actually CPU bound, so the GPU utilization is not fully maxed out, so it doesn't need to draw as much power, obviously. Um, and yes, it's not the VRAM bottleneck this time around, although we're still getting a ton of stutters and that VRAM is still at 2 gigabytes, which is crazy. I'm just gonna <laughs> ride Roach around for a little bit. Also, Bob is not here today, that's interesting. Maybe we killed him previously, or maybe he got scared, finally, you know? We scared bob away that's great we got roach right here he's looking beautiful even on the lowest settings Eh, kind of <laughs> let's get out of saint denis and get to the forest area so far so good we're not seeing 20s yet so 
That's amazing, right? <laughs> that i5 is also handling it like a champ. This is a very old CPU from 2011, I think. And yeah, for, for a 2011 CPU to be running an open world title right, like Red Dead Redemption 2 above 30 frames per second is actually pretty insane, isn't it? Oh my gosh, we're getting 40s around here. Oh yes, of course, because we were CPU bound in the city, we weren't really fully utilizing the 770 and now uh, in this area we're close to fully utilizing the 770, so it actually gets more FPS. We're not CPU bound here basically, um, or not as much. The CPU utilization sometimes still goes to like 80 or 90 percent. Um, I guess this combo, the i5-2500K and the 770 are actually pretty balanced for this game. Yeah, you can see that some Sometimes you even get like 90 plus percent CPU and GPU usage and in a perfect world of course you want to max out both unless you are doing something else on your computer and you need headroom on the CPU side of things. It started raining, it's getting pretty good FPS actually. I mean it looks pretty bad in my opinion and with the 2GB of VRAM you can't really utilize more than a, a normal textures which sucks a bit but yeah if you are fine with the 720p low settings experience roach please i'm talking here you can't do that <laughs> uh, this this is actually a capable combo and i think that this i'm scared right now oh boy oh boy uh, but i think that this is actually very adequate or accurate for the minimum requirements we get like 30 plus FPS basically, worst case scenario in the city, it dropped maybe from 30 a little bit once or twice, but not really a problem, you know, it didn't happen very often, and uh, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for in a minimum requirement system, 30-ish FPS, or above 30 almost all of the time at 720p low settings, and it seems like Rockstar nailed it! And now we got the recommended requirements looking great inside of a PC case this time around. <laughs> and now you guessed it, it's desktop time! i7 4770K in task manager right there, not overclocked once again, 12 gigabytes of DDR3, two DIMMs at 1600 MHz, and over on the right we got the GTX 1066 gigabyte model. And let's go over the settings, 1080p resolution, very adequate for a 1060, and we're using the balanced preset, which which was what the game uh, set as default for a GTX 1060. The only thing that I changed was the motion blur, I turned it off of course. And we're right where we left it. GPU intensive area, remember that, and we're getting 30s, which is not too bad actually. It's pretty good, if you lock the FPS to 30, it shouldn't really drop that much, uh, if it isn't dropping in this area. Let's start counting the FPS as well. So this feels a heck of a lot better than what we saw previously, for sure. This is super nice and smooth, uh, going by that frame time graph, you don't see any variation there basically, so it's really, really solid. And oh boy, okay, the 1% lows are already at 20, 29, 28 now, but it didn't drop from 30 yet. So it might drop actually guys, giving it a little bit of an overclock on the GPU will actually uh, put you a little bit more comfortably above 30 FPS all of the time. Now let's not go here Roach, actually there are a ton of crocodiles, let's get out of here, uh, maybe that way? I want to go to the Saint Denis area to see CPU performance now because that's more CPU intensive obviously and I know there is a, a bigger and more intensive city I guess. Um, in another area, but I haven't gotten there yet, so this is what I do here in my benchmark run. So far so good! It didn't really drop from 30, although it, it gets uncomfortably close to doing so. So I would probably still drop a few settings here and there, actually for sure, because we can play on like Xbox One X settings and have pretty good visuals still while getting almost double the FPS that we're seeing right now, if not double. So that's what we're gonna see a little bit later in the video, of course. Balanced settings on the 1060 look amazing! How the heck? What? It was just a little scratch, you know? Come on, Roach! A little scratch, which is not a car, but yes. <laughs> Recommended requirements in a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, I think aren't really meant for 60 FPS with these uh, good visuals at least, or on balanced preset. Although on balanced preset there are a ton of settings that are set to ultra by default. 
All right, Bobby's not here. I mean, this is fantastic, guys. This is the best video ever. I am loving it. It's running well, or as it's supposed to run, on recommended and minimum requirements, in my opinion. And we don't see Bob that often. I mean, we, we saw him once and then he's been running away from us. Anyways, if you really want to play at these settings, you definitely can. No CPU bottlenecks in the city, although that would be kind of difficult uh, to, to get the CPU bottleneck because we're getting 30 to 40 FPS and the i7 can do better than that, obviously. Um, but yes, it doesn't really drop from 30, at least not in the areas that we've been to uh, so far. Back in the menu after a fresh restart, 1080p resolution still using the Xbox One X settings found by Digital Foundry. So these provide really good visual still and very good performance as well. And also these are the Xbox One X settings, not the Xbox One X's resolution. And as you can see, we're getting so many more FPS, it feels much more much smoother we're still not in a very intensive area that would be in that direction uh, but i am liking what i'm seeing right now we were getting like what 35 fps 33 around here and now we're getting close to 60. as i told you really good visuals still as you can probably tell the youtube video will mess it up a little bit because of compression but uh, it still should look pretty similar to what we saw at the other settings i can't tell much of a difference honestly maybe like some of the detail in the road and stuff is a little bit worse uh, but it's not to the point where I would choose the other settings over these ones I think this still looks amazing it's fantastic basically and it runs way better like look at that I am curious to see if we oh boy almost fell there again <laughs> if we still see a GPU bound scenario inside of the city and it seems like we we are sort of seeing that the CPU is bottlenecking it a little bit but mostly it's still at 99 and 98 GPU usage, or percent GPU usage. Yeah, not bad actually. The i7 is keeping up pretty well. Oh, Bob, shut the heck up. Shut the heck up. I, 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 I thought you were smart this time. Damn it. All right, I guess police are gonna come after us. I'm sorry, sir. Feel free to run away as you were doing. Yes, okay, there we go. He's fine, guys. We didn't hurt him, but Bob is dead. <laughs> Bob is actually dead. Okay. So, uh, police are after us now, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, it's gonna be more CPU intensive actually, because uh, we got more things happening now and people shooting at us and stuff. Please, Roach, don't stop running. All right, I really need you to keep running and get to the other intensive area in the woods. Oh boy, yes, this is perfect basically, guys. For a game like this, 50 FPS on average feels really responsive. I love it, actually. I would play the game all day long like this. These are the settings that I would choose uh, with the GTX 1060. No matter what CPU you're running, honestly, guys. It's amazing. GTX 1060 can still provide really good experience here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, boy. Come on. There we go. One down. We got his... Oh, he has a hat. I think we should definitely steal his hat. Or it's not stealing if he's dead, right? It's just taking what belongs to me because I killed him. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Well, not very good, actually. Not very good looking. <laughs> uh, but we're fine, guys. I think that's it. Even here, in a GPU-intensive scenario, it gets around the same FPS as saint Denis. Maybe it drops a little bit more into the 40s, as you can see, because of the vegetation. But... It is very strong performance indeed. So I'll see you in the next one very soon. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Maybe consider subscribing. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.